Attention! Fabrizio Romano brings an update on Saudi interest in Mo Salah. Liverpool intensifies its pursuit of the 29-year-old star, also linked to Barcelona and Arsenal. Contact made to sign the special Liverpool star. Greetings, fan. Welcome to your news channel of the biggest and best club in the world. Liverpool target, Tone Coop Miners, has stated he is willing to weather the rain to move to the Premier League this summer, after informing Atalanta of his desire for a transfer. Coop Miners has been having an excellent season with Atalanta, catching the eye of several top clubs who have been encouraged by his recent comments. I'll weather the rain. Reports in Italy last week suggested Liverpool has already shown interest in Coop Miners, but Juventus is also keen on the 26-year-old midfielder. An offer in the region of £50 million is considered enough to secure the services of the Dutchman, who has scored 26 goals and provided 12 assists in 112 appearances for Atalanta since his transfer from AZ Alkmaar in the summer of 2021. In an interview with The Telegraph on Thursday, during an international mission, Coop Miners revealed that he informed Atalanta of his desire to leave in the summer, adding that he would like to move to the Premier League. He said, I told Atalanta that I want to make a move next summer, but it has to be something really good to trade this for Atalanta itself. My girlfriend and I are having a lot of fun in Italy, but at some English clubs I'll weather the rain. I hope there are good options to consider and then I hope Atalanta gets a good amount for me because I will have had wonderful times there. As for whether another midfielder will be a priority for Liverpool, that is up for debate. Especially considering Wataruendo's impressive form in the midfield base, and with Coop Miners generally playing in a more offensive role for the club and the national team this season. This will be a decision for the new sporting director, Richard Hughes, in consultation with the new FSG CEO, Michael Edwards, and the future coach. They have more pressing issues to address. Liverpool has received a major boost in their pursuit of Bayern Munich stalwart, Joshua Kimmich, also targeted by Arsenal and Barcelona. According to a report from Give Me Sport, Liverpool is keen on securing Joshua Kimmich's services, and the versatile 29-year-old Bayern Munich player is open to the idea of a move to Merseyside club during next summer's transfer window. Kimmich is also on the radar of Arsenal and Barcelona. Since joining Bayern Munich in the summer of 2015, Kimmich has steadily grown and become a key figure in the club's success over the years. However, he is considering leaving the club at the end of the season. Kimmich's current situation at Bayern Munich is not the best. Despite his decent performances on the field, the team as a whole has faced difficulties in the league, and the player has had disagreements with coach Thomas Tuchel. With the announcement that Tuchel will leave Bayern at the end of the season, Kimmich's decision may depend on who will take over the club's reins next season. If he decides to leave, Bayern will not stand in his way and is willing to allow his departure, despite his current contract expiring in the summer of 2025. Liverpool is one of the clubs interested in signing Kimmich. Despite a major overhaul in the midfield last summer, the Merseyside club still feels the need for an addition in midfield, and Kimmich could be the best option for them. His willingness to move to Anfield is a major boost for the Reds in their pursuit, although they face competition from Arsenal and Barcelona. Arsenal, under Mikel Arteta's leadership, plans to further strengthen their team this summer, with Kimmich being one of their targets. As for Barcelona, they are big admirers of the player and could see him as a cost-effective option, given the ongoing financial crisis and the fact that his contract expires in the summer of 2025. A concerning report has emerged indicating that Diaz could leave Liverpool, with Foot Mercado journalist Santi Auna claiming that PSG's owners in Qatar have made the player their priority for this summer, as they seek an alternative to the imminent departure of Kylian Mbappe, who is set to join Real Madrid. Additionally, it was reported that there has already been contact with Diaz's agent, who previously worked with PSG to facilitate the signing of Neymar. However, there is a significant obstacle as FSG has labeled Diaz as not for sale amidst a summer that already promises to be tumultuous. Despite his physical struggles since his arrival, the Colombian is beloved by fans and the club. Liverpool's coach last season expressed his enthusiasm for the player, even during periods when he faced injuries. Klopp praised Diaz, calling him a natural player and expressing much appreciation for his abilities. However, with Klopp out of the picture, there is little reason to believe that FSG or Liverpool would be willing to let Diaz leave unless they received an offer they simply could not refuse.
Fabrizio Romano is convinced that clubs from the Saudi Pro League will try again to sign Mohamed Salah this summer, despite the winger being quite content at Liverpool. Despite a recent injury, the 31-year-old Salah is having an exciting season, already scoring 21 goals in all competitions so far. With his latest goal in the six, one victory over Sparta Prague, he became the first star of the Reds to score 20 or more goals in all competitions in seven consecutive seasons. Salah's contract with Liverpool runs until 2025, and there are rumors that the new sporting director, Richard Hughes, will seek to initiate negotiations regarding the player's future. Last summer, Salah was the subject of great interest from the Saudi Pro League, with a generous offer from al Idahad being rejected by Liverpool's management. It is widely expected that Saudi clubs will try to sign Salah again in the coming months, especially while his future plans remain uncertain. In an interview with the JD Football Channel on YouTube, transfer reporter Romano stated that the Saudis will not give up easily, although he suggested that Salah could choose to stay at Liverpool depending on the project presented to him in the post jurgen Klopp era. Romano said, in the last week of August, from what I heard, representatives from Saudi Arabia sent a proposal of around £100 million plus bonuses, totaling around £150 million for Mo Salah. It was a huge amount, but Liverpool and the player decided to stay together for another season. The interest from Saudi Arabia is still there. They will try again. At the moment, there are no discussions with Liverpool or with Mo, as both are 100% focused on this season. So let's see what happens in the summer in terms of proposals and negotiations. I am sure Saudi Arabia will try again for Mo Salah, but I am also sure that Mo is very happy at Liverpool. Therefore, I think it will be important to see what Liverpool presents to Mo Salah in terms of a project. The Anfield Watch reported that Salah is open to renewing his contract with Liverpool, despite Saudi interest. However, it is still unclear what offer the new Anfield management is willing to make to the 31-year-old player, who is already the highest-paid player in the club's history.